YouTubers, this is Jacob Martin, also known as the Movie King on Letterbox, and welcome to my second installment of the Let's Go to the Movies vlog. Today I'll be going to the cinemas uh, to, to see Creed 2. Uh, December is my birthday month. One of the great things I love about uh, the AMC chain is that uh, you get a free large buck of the popcorn on your birthday, so I get to save some money. Uh, on popcorn, because you know, popcorn is really expensive. So like I said, today I'm seeing Creed 2. Uh, I didn't, one of the biggest regrets in my movie going experiences was not get it, not seeing the original Creed in theaters back in 2015. I was excited about the project. Rocky is one of my favorite uh, sports movies of all time. So the fact that, uh, we were getting a, to see the story continue while reinventing itself uh, was a cool little way to go. And, I, and of course, you know, Creed ended up being one of the most acclaimed films of that year. I eventually, I finally saw Creed, I think, two weeks ago. I mean, you can read my Letterboxd review, uh, which I might leave, I'll leave a link to my profile in the description. Uh... Yeah, you know, I finally saw Creed, and just to see how, just to see, you know, the franchise reinvent itself, you know, showing what made Rocky such an iconic film, while also transcribing it for the next generation, and sharing its its own creative passion, you know, with you know a different side, you know, you know celebrating some of the you know, African-American identity of, uh, you know, the Creed character. Uh, I, I love uh, Ryan Coogler's uh, direction and his stamp on the series. And it, it was cool seeing a fresh new take of, uh, you know, the Rocky Creed legacy. Yeah, I, I was originally, I don't, I wasn't sure what to think of Creed 2. I mean, they decided to bring back uh you know the the, the Drago character from Rocky 4 uh they, they were bringing that aspects back into this film obviously if you have not seen Rocky 4 uh without without getting into heavy spoilers yeah there's a huge bloodline between the the Dragos and the Creeds because of what happened during this pivotal match. But at the same time, Rocky IV definitely has not aged well. It's an entertaining watch, but for all the wrong reasons. I mean, the tone is so campy and it's so coded in 80s Cold War politics and watching it uh, watching it now, you know, not being in that generation, it's 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 very silly. Definitely not what made the original Rocky great. In fact, a lot of the Rocky sequels, I don't think, are that great because of the silliness. I mean, the third one you had, I'm pretty fool, Mr. T in it, and Hulk Hogan mixed in with you know another some really tragic moments in Rocky's life and the tone just does not work. <laughs> and the less said about Rocky V, the better. That film is a... Uh, that film's a train wreck. Uh, I do... I mean, Rocky II is... Uh, Rocky II's okay. That's a... Uh, it's a watchable film, but it's definitely inferior compared to the first. I actually really like Rocky VI, you know, Rocky Balboa. That seemed like a return to form, even though it does follow pretty much the same beats as the original. But I still think it works, and I enjoyed seeing, you know, you know, Rocky coming out of retirement for his last big fight. That seemed like that seemed like a great send off, but I'm glad they were able to bring Rocky back and share a new phase of the character's life with Creed. Creed two came out a couple weeks ago. 
the reviews were really strong. I'm hearing uh, the movie. I'm hearing the movie improves upon some of the Rocky Four stuff. So if the movie manages to make me deeply invested in the Creed Drago dynamic, I think we're in for a another phenomenal movie in the uh, Rocky universe. And that's something I'm I'm not expecting since you know Ryan Coogler did not do Creed two for obvious reasons. You know he went on to do Black Panther, which is an even better movie. Another cool show, also starring Michael B. Jordan. But but yeah, I I think Creed two is going to be interesting. I can't wait to see how it turns out. And I can't wait to share my thoughts with you. Uh, so, uh, so for now, I'll see you when I get to the movie theater, and I'll talk more then, and I'll share my thoughts. I'll see you later. So I have made it to my the movie theater I'm going to today. This AMC right here. That's where they do the free large popcorn on your birthday. I'm about to go in and see Creed 2. Yeah, I'm really... I uh, can't wait to see it. Like I said, I've heard good things about it. Uh, I'm really not that hungry, to be honest. <laughs> I had a... I got treated uh, for my birthday by some really nice uh, uh, people that I go uh, to church with. So... Uh, I had a big lunch there, so hopefully I don't get too bloated tonight because I gotta have dinner when I get off. I don't know when I finish this movie, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, all right, so I'll get my popcorn, uh, sit down, watch the movie. I guess in the meantime, I highly recommend you check out uh, Chris Stuckman's interview with the director. Uh, of Creed 2 uh, they're both from Cleveland they he had a nice little conversation with him um, made me curious to see how uh, he tackled uh, this film all right all right I'm about to go to the movie and I'll uh, see you in a little bit all right so I just finally fit got out of seeing uh, Creed 2 uh, so what did I think about it Oh man, it was fantastic. Uh, definitely one of the better uh, sequels in the uh, Rocky Creed franchise. I'd actually say it's probably my top three in the franchise. Uh, probably behind uh, the uh, original Rocky and the original Creed. I thought uh, for an uh, up-and-coming director, uh, his name's uh, Stephen Cable Jr., I thought he did a great job at uh, continuing what Ryan Coogler established in the uh, previous film and showing a uh, um, a really great look at at legacy in the uh, boxing industry since they had the break since they decided to bring back uh, the bad blood between the Creed and the Drago name. Uh, speaking of Drago, I feel like they did an amazing job at uh, bringing back one of the more sillier aspects in the franchise, Rocky IV, and making a uh, continuation that's very grounded in reality. Uh, Drago was one of the more uh, cartoonish characters in the uh, franchise, you know, Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, they managed to make him a uh, three-dimensional character here. They didn't make him like this over-the-top bad guy. He's just a he's just a guy that wants to make a uh, comeback for his family and will do anything that it takes uh, to get that title back. Uh, I, I thought I thought he was a standout. Uh, that that really surprised me. Uh, obviously, Michael B. Jordan is great he's had an incredible year between this and of course killmonger and black panther this is definitely his year 
Uh, he could he he could get an Oscar nom this year. The Academy sees what he can do. The the effort he puts to the table. I think uh, I think he has a chance this year. Probably more with Black Panther, but Creed two. He's he's really excellent here, especially handling some of the uh, darker aspects of uh, you know of his of his uh, family legacy, having to deal with uh, coming back to uh, you know a time you know a family that caused so much pain and uh, you know the Creed family and having to continue. Uh, the bad blood that his father started. Also, uh, Sylvester Stallone uh, is excellent. Uh, continually, uh, be you know, being all that makes Rocky Balboa such an amazing, iconic character. Uh, him having to come back to, uh, you know, the past and uh, some of the mistakes he made that caused uh, such pain in everybody's lives. He, re he really pulled that off. And they even, they even tackled some uh, plot threads uh, that was established in uh, Rocky Balboa that made the uh, ending of the character very heartwarming. Uh, the fight sequences are some of the best directed in the entire franchise. Uh, seeing the film on the big screen, it definitely felt like I was in the arena. Especially with some of the more brutal punches and jabs. I was going, ooh, and oh. Yeah, I got really intense at times. Uh... Even the more uh, slower aspects of the story uh, with Creed and uh, his fiance, uh, played by Tessa Thompson. Uh, yeah, even those aspects are just uh, just sweet moments to watch uh, because I'm into the character so much. Uh, any issues with the film? Um... Yeah, they set up this big promoter character at the beginning of the film who's kind of like the behind-the-scenes guy setting up the uh, uh, the Creed and Drago feud, but I, I found the character very useless. He was just there at the beginning, but he doesn't do much in the rest of the film, so why have him when he does practically nothing I mean this feud could have set up without the character because you know the Dragos fly from Russia to the US and they start their little squabble and we got a story uh, it's simple as that I don't know why we need that promoter guy but oh well maybe there was an extra deleted scene with him or something I don't know uh that might have been, that was probably my biggest issue with the film, uh, I guess two, no, that might, that might be about it, uh, that was the, that's the biggest issue I can think of off the top of my head, uh, other than that, like I said, I really enjoyed, uh, Creed 2, it's definitely one of the better installments in the franchise, I think, uh, we've had eight movies in the franchise, and I'll say the Half of them are really amazing. Uh, we got Rock, the original Rocky, Rocky Balboa, Creed, and now Creed Two. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely a great way to continue the Rocky and Creed legacy. Especially big props in reconnecting with one of the sillier Rocky films. Bravo, uh, bravo. Uh, as for rating this film, it's definitely going to be in the four and a half range. I haven't really added all the points yet for the 100 point scale. Uh, based on based on everything I love and some of the issues I had with it, I think it's going to be in the high four and a half range. I'm going to say like 88 or 89. Uh, really, 
really enjoyed this film. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of Creed 2. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed by it? Uh, whatever your thoughts are, please be loving, honest, and considerate of others' opinions. Uh, we're all human. We have different we have different tastes, so please be civil if somebody's in the minority. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, if, if you want to be notified of future videos, uh, click the little bell next to the subscribe button and also subscribe if you want to see more videos. Um, also, you, I'll leave a link to my Letterboxd account if you want to see more of my written reviews that I do on that website. And also, like I said earlier, there's a great interview uh, that Chris Stuckman did over on his channel with uh, Creed 2's director. I think his name's Stephen Cable Jr. Yeah, I really think he has a career. He's going to have a great career thanks to Creed 2. I can't wait to see what he does in the future. Anyway, I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Woo!